Hey guys, I hope you're all doing great. Today I'm doing a nail tutorial and this is what I'm doing today. I wanted to experiment a little with um, textures, different kind of textures. So like combining them with the glossy effect and the liquid sand texture. I'm sure you've heard of the texture polishes, liquid sand and they're also uh, from other brands who has that kind of texture but i really like it i hope you like this this tutorial this these nails stay tuned for the tutorial so always begin by applying a base coat and i have already mine on and this is opi's nail envy which is a nail strengthener and after that i'm gonna paint all of my nails in this beautiful plumish purple and this one is the name want to bite my neck and I will apply two coats all over all of my nails with this polish. And now that I have my purple nails, I'm gonna pick out some clear nail polish and apply a dot right up by the cuticle area. And right here, I'm gonna place a four millimeter rhinestone. So I'm just gonna place that right there. And now with the rhinestones attached, I'm gonna use my top coat to seal in the rhinestone and to give um, to seal the the oh the purple polish as well and this one is from Essie and it has the name Good to Go Top Coat and it's a fast drying top coat so I'll apply a top coat all over all of my nails normally I would of course apply my top coat the last as the last step but since I'm gonna use a liquid sand on top of this I decided to first do the top coat and then this one because the liquid sands are not supposed to have top coat on top so I'm gonna use this silver liquid sand and this one is the name it's frosty outside and using this I'm gonna do a v-shaped manicure but it's gonna be about halfway up the nail so we're gonna do two coats now before I apply coat number two, I'm gonna bring out the hexagon glitters I want. Of course, you can use rhinestones or whatever. I'm gonna use this deep purple, magenta purple hexagon glitters. So I'm gonna place them onto the liquid sand polish before it has dried. So let's do this. Okay, so a second coat of the liquid sand. And now bring out your dotting tool and I'm gonna place these hexagon glitters along the line along the V so press them in so that they are staying put So now you, all you have to do is wait for it to dry and you're going to see the texture of the polish when it has dried. It's, it says that it takes about 5 to 10 minutes. So I'll be right back to show you what it looks like what it, when it has dried and you can see the different textures. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this design. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, comment. I love to read all your comments. They really make me happy to see what people think and what they what they think I could do better or if there's something that they really like that you really like then please don't hesitate to comment I love to read your comments and also share subscribe if you haven't already there will be more tutorials to come shortly I have been bad at it for quite some time lately and I'm trying to be better at doing them more frequently well take care everyone I will see you soon again bye